I'm George Roeder. I'm the co-CEO of Engineers Without Borders. And we're going to outline a comprehensive agenda today on, on aid effectiveness. And so for aid and for this initiative that we're announcing and releasing today with uh, the support of, of my colleagues here, um, this isn't about creating new funds for international aid, though those are important and useful. Um, this isn't about creating new program areas to address education or to address water and sanitation or to address agriculture, though those are important as well. This is, this is about how Canada spends its existing aid dollars. And what we're asking Canada to do today is to act on aid effectiveness, where ACT stands for asking for aid that is both uh, accountable, creative, and trans. So today we're excited to bring together all parties in, uh, in supporting uh, improving, improving Canada's aid effectiveness. Engineers Without Borders members are also descending on Parliament Hill today. We have meetings with 41 parliamentarians, uh, individuals, talking to them about these, these ideas um, and hoping to garner more support to find ways in which we can work together to make things happen. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I did a speaking tour with Engineers Without Borders a couple of months ago across the country at various uh, universities, and I came to appreciate that this is a cutting-edge group that's really desirous that we take what we have out there and actually do something with it rather than just talk about it. And uh, I think they've done that today. Um, uh, you know, we have developed policies as Liberals around CETA and things that we feel that are important. And I think we'll find that with all the parties, there's a real desire to get on with some of the stuff that George has spoken about, about accountability and, and creativity and transparency. But I really believe that in the Parliament of Canada, that will not amount to anything if we don't have cooperation. And I really think it's a, it's a special thing today that uh, I have three uh, good friends that are up here. A couple of us are on the Foreign Affairs Committee together. It's really important that you see that all of us as parties are here uh, putting our own imprimatur on what we believe is a very, very important initiative by an NGO that's come here to challenge us to do so, if we can only assist. So my portion here today is not the Liberal portion. My portion here is all of our portion. We're here because we believe in the subject. We believe in Engineers Without Borders. Il est important pour moi de prendre part à cette, à cette conférence de presse parce qu'il faut euh, que le gouvernement place l'aide publique au développement en avant-scène, quelques semaines avant la tenue du G8 au Canada. L'aide publique au développement a comme principal objectif la réduction de la pauvreté. Telle qu'elle est aujourd'hui, l'aide canadienne peut contribuer à atteindre cet, cet objectif, mais elle pourrait être beaucoup plus efficace. It's very significant and very important to have the NGOs and civil society engaged with our government, engaged with the politicians. And you see the result today where you have members from all parties who are saying that we cannot politicize aid. We have to ensure that every dollar reaches the places of the world that are where it is most needed and where it's most effectively delivered. The proposals from Engineers Without Borders today are very significant and I am thrilled that all parties are standing behind them, are willing to move forward in this. And I thank them for bringing it here today. Thank you, George. And uh, I'm delighted to be here today to lend my support uh, to this important initiative by Engineers Without Borders to increase the effectiveness of foreign aid dollars. In essence, what they are proposing to set up is a framework to ensure that foreign aid dollars are spent in an accountable, creative, transparent manner. Governments have made great strides over the years to ensure that aid dollars are used more efficiently, and I'm proud that our government has moved towards that goal that Engineers Without Borders is advocating. Most importantly, perhaps in 2008, we had announced the, that all aid would be untied by 2012 to 2013, which would provide greater tracking and reporting of aid funding. Indeed, Engineers Without Borders is proposing that this type of initiative is made global so that other G8 countries can follow our lead, and that a standard is created for tracking and reporting. Engineers Without Borders has expanded on this idea of proposing a venture-focused implementation innovation fund to be created to fund the expansion of promising initiatives. And certainly this is a great idea that I believe should be taken. Into Engineers Without Borders is proposing mechanisms that build on this progress and continue towards the maximization of aid effectiveness. I am excited when I see the ideas contained in this multipartisan agenda, and I believe that this could provide a framework that we can truly make a difference on a global scale. And it's certainly my honor here to stand here with my colleagues to support this initiative.